What if I told you there is a specific bacteria in your gut which is your body's natural anti-inflammatory medication because it produces anti-inflammatory compounds which are responsible for reducing inflammation in your body. But here's the bad news. Research also shows that majority of the people are low in this particular bacteria and that's the reason they are unable to reduce inflammation in their body. In fact, majority of the probiotics which are available on the stores do not have this particular bacterial strain in them. But here's the good news. I figured out there are some natural ways, specifically certain foods and supplements which can increase this bacteria in your gut naturally. So today I'm going to share with you this specific bacteria which might be the reason that your inflammation levels are high and how simply by incorporating certain foods in your diet you can increase this level of bacteria and reduce your inflammation in your body. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta, a former Cleveland Clinic functional medicine physician from US. I help people improve their chronic diseases by making personalized functional medicine plans. So as you might know, chronic inflammation is the root of each and every chronic diseases. Whether you're dealing with hormonal dysfunctions, thyroid issues, weight problems, heart diseases, diabetes, or you feel bloated or tired. All of these problems, the root cause is chronic inflammation. And unless you improve the chronic inflammation, you are not going to feel better. This is where modern science has been very useful because they are looking for all the different reasons why chronic inflammation is very high. This is where interestingly when I was looking at the research studies, I found this particular bacteria which has multiple research studies showing that the lack of this bacteria is associated with high levels of inflammation. In fact, it was associated with several autoimmune diseases also in your body. And you might be wondering which bacteria I'm talking about. Now here's a kicker. The name of this bacteria is a tongue twister. I'm going to try my level best to pronounce this bacteria correctly. So it is Fecalibacterium prosnitsi. Yes, you might have not heard of this bacteria ever before, but researchers have been researching this bacteria for a long time. From now on, I'm going to call this bacteria F-Pro, just so that it is easier for me to pronounce it. All right, so let me share with you the science why this F pro bacteria is the most important gut bacteria that you should be knowing about today if you are dealing with chronic inflammation. So, F pro is a special bacteria which is responsible for producing another chemical in your body which is called butyrate. This butyrate is actually the fuel for your gut lining. As well as research shows, this butyrate is a powerful antioxidant and reduces inflammation in your gut as well as in your body. Plus, Research also shows that this F pro bacteria reduces inflammatory marker called TNF alpha in your gut. Now, let me share with you a couple of research studies over here. Researchers took animal models and these animals had inflammatory bowel disease, very high amount of inflammation in their gut. And these animals were given this F pro bacteria and the results were completely shocking because it showed that just giving this particular bacteria, the inflammatory markers in these animals reduced dramatically. Plus this bacteria also supported the growth of other good bacteria in their gut too. So the researchers concluded that this particular bacteria was able to reduce inflammation not only in the gut, but also systemically in their body. Another study was done in rheumatoid arthritis, where this particular bacteria, Afcro, was given to mice which had rheumatoid arthritis. And again, the results were shocking. Just given this particular bacteria showed that the joint damage dramatically improved plus again their inflammatory markers in their blood also improved dramatically. There are other several research studies which showed that this F pro bacteria was able to reduce several chemical mediators of inflammation specifically TNF alpha, IL-6 as well as IL-17. So clearly we have enough research which supports that this F pro bacteria can be a game changer in several autoimmune conditions and as well as reducing inflammation in your body. Now the next question is that what is the best way of increasing this F pro bacteria? Can we do it naturally? And again researchers have found a way of increasing it naturally in your body. There was another research study done which showed that people who consumed a high fiber plant based diet had higher amount of this F pro bacteria in their gut as compared to people who were not consuming a high fiber diet on a regular basis. So this is where these specific foods which I'm going to share with you right now are important to include in your daily routine so that way you can increase your F pro concentration. The first food over here is green leafy vegetables specifically spinach, 
केल एरगुला एंड लेटस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इंक्लूड इन योर डेली लाइफ द सेकेंड वन आर रूट वेजिटेबल्स स्पेसिफिकली बीट रूट्स कैरेट्स and some sweet potatoes are again shown in research studies to increase the concentration of this f pro bacteria then include gluten free whole grains specifically brown rice quinoa and oats then comes berries specifically blueberries strawberries have again shown to improve the concentration of this particular bacteria so all of these foods have shown in research studies that they feed this particular bacteria and increase the concentration in your gut the second thing you need to include in your diet to increase this particular bacteria is prebiotic rich foods another research studies was done where they use specific prebiotic fiber called inulin and within weeks they saw dramatic increase in the concentration of f pro bacteria in their gut the number one food over here is chicory root this is the food which has the highest inulin concentration of any natural food then comes jerusalem artichokes then even onions and garlics have some prebiotics in them and then comes green bananas so these are the foods which are specifically high in prebiotic fibers which feed this bacteria now if you cannot consume these foods or you do not have access to them then the alternate way is buying a supplement of inulin powder and using it for at least 4 to 6 weeks so you can increase the concentration of this bacteria then the last way of increasing this particular bacteria is what i call as a cross feeding secret f pro has a secret friend in your gut which is another bacteria called bifidobacterium bifidobacterium makes acetate in your gut and this acetate your f pro bacteria uses to make butyrate so whenever you are consuming a probiotic which is high in bifidobacterium it also increases the concentration of f pro bacteria so for this the easiest way to do would be to buying a probiotic which is high in different strains of bifidobacterium a minimum of 20 to 30 billion probiotic strains is what you need so that way you can support your bifidobacterium and also support your f pro bacteria so here you go these are the three easy steps that you can do on the regular basis which is healthy in general also but will specifically increase this f pro bacteria in your gut and that can significantly lower inflammation in your gut as well as lower inflammation all over your body so if you are that person who is suffering from chronic inflammation you are feeling that joint pain bloating feeling and you are struggling with weight issues plus you are constantly battling brain fog fatigue or tiredness then this particular bacteria might be your key because as you saw the research is very clear that people who have high amount of inflammation in their body are low in this particular bacteria and unfortunately there is no probiotic currently on the market which is giving you this particular bacteria you can only increase it by following the three step protocol that i gave to you above so include this protocol and see within few weeks whether your gut inflammation is lower and whether you are seeing a difference in your inflammation levels i hope you like this video if you do please like and subscribe to my channel so you keep on getting this kind of information in the future also plus share this with others who can benefit from this information until next time take care bye bye